built a few gauge one live steam locomotives so far. This is the next one I'm going to build and it's going to be scratch built and it's going to be live steam and I hope you find the series of following videos interesting to watch. Well, here we are now. Here's the boiler all complete and while I was waiting for the pressure gauge to turn up I finished and completed the the regulator or this makes a steam tree what you would want to call it and that's the the regulator and that levers for the blower so that's all done and as you can see our uh, pressure gauge turned up so I've fitted that with the copper tube to the boiler and it's connected in a similar way to this using this uh, banjo type of arrangement so that's connected and when this is actually in the chassis that will line up with a window so you can see the pressure hopefully as the locomotives going past so now we're at a very exciting stage now where I'm going to fire this up for the first time test it in under steam so I shall slide that into my little test rig that we have and we'll fill it up with some water. Just undo this. Just undo the safety valve. Normally the boiler would be filled with a clack valve via a hand pump through this point here but that's just blanked off at the moment. So we're going to fill the boiler from the safety valve and that is that's 60 mil on in. One twenty mil. Oops, about one hundred and eighty mil. Well, it probably looks like about one hundred and seventy mil. It's gone in the capacity, so we can. Lock the safety valve down again, tighten them up. I've got a proper spanner for the fit that. That isn't quite the right one, so that's better fit. So that's the safety valve nipped up. And I've got a pair of pliers ready, as we can just finally tweak this safety valve for the right blow off pressure. So what I normally do at this stage of testing is I just use my butane torch just underneath to provide the heat and the beauty of this is I can take it away very quickly if there's any problems. Well, let's go ahead and light up. So we'll just bring it up to pressure very slowly. This will probably take a while. Normally when these are uh, running normally, it usually takes about five minutes to get up enough pressure to turn the blower on. Again, we're not really heating it properly as we would if we were in a real setup because normally what we'd have is a fan here drawing the air through so it draws the air through the tubes easier so this may take a little longer okay we're, we're coming up to pressure reading about 25 psi on the gauge now and you might be able to see a few wisps of steam coming out and if we look on here you see we've got some pressure there Uh, 
that's about 50 now looking at it. We're in a bit of shade here so I can't see probably. Now it's coming up to about 60. We would start to adjust this safety valve. So if you, you might be able to see a few wisps of steam coming out of here. That steam has travelled down here into this manifold. Right, we're just up to pressure. So, we can get that adjusted a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad. So, just to try the regulator. And that's what goes to the pistons. Well, that's reasonable. This is... Close that off. These have to bed down a little bit. This is for the blower. I can see I need a little bit more packing in here. There's quite a lot of water going through as well. Well, that's for the pistons. And that's to the blower. Let's move that camera around so you can see that. Pistons. And that's the blower. Okay, so I need a little bit more packing on that gland. There's uh, a bit of a leak. Let's get some pressure back again. I have to put, and what I will do as well is uh, let's move that round a bit. I shall put some heat proof handles on here, these get very hot. So there we are, that's the steaming done. That's about that's got about 60 pounds in there. And you can see the safety valve just wisps of steam coming off. Hopefully you can see that. That's probably gonna blow in a minute. That's getting ready to blow. But that's not looking too bad, that's looking reasonable. Yeah, just about there. I need to give that some adjustment. Probably need a bit more opening. It's quite difficult to do with one hand. That's okay. That's the first firing up of the boiler. So I'm pretty confident when I drop that into the engine that uh, there'll be enough steam there to make it move. And what you've just heard gone off now is my carbon monoxide detector. So on that point I shall stop filming and let the workshop ventilate. Well the boiler's cooled down now, well, it's still, still a little bit warm and the carbon monoxide detector has stopped. So it's a good sitting bat in the chassis and I'll give you an idea what that looks like. And that's looking that's looking pretty reasonable. So when we start to do the plate work, which is in one of the coming episodes, you can see now that we can see the, the, uh, the pressure gauge quite clearly through our window. And that's probably where we're getting to next time is to start doing this plate work and the, the back part of the tender, the back part of the, the coal bunker and uh, we'll start working on on some water tanks. What I'm going to have in here are some proper working water tanks with a feed pump so we can fill the boiler through a clack valve here. 
so there are the coming episodes. So I hope you've liked this video. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button as it's very much appreciated. And we'll see you again next time.